Hey friends, I wanted to make a little video today and share with you about what is inside your butterfly bucket. There are so many great things in here that I want to be sure to show them to you and give you some ideas on how you can play with them or create with them, make beautiful things with them, eat some yummy snacks with them, and learn all about butterflies and bugs and just have a fantastic time. You will probably have your own ideas as well. But I just wanted to go through the bucket and show you what you have and make sure that I explain things so you don't have any questions. So we'll go through our bucket here. This is Miss Viv's bucket, but she's gonna be kind enough to share with us for a moment here. So in her bucket, we have snacks. You have a snack where you could um, take some butterfly crackers and put some cool sprinkles on them. That's delicious. And this says yummy gummies. There are some butterfly gummies. And let's see. Oh, this snack is quite fun. There are some um, butterfly crackers that have also some bees and some flowers and ladybugs. And there's a sheet in your packet that you can do some graphing on. And there's some information on this card about that. So that's another snack, because I heard you guys really liked your snacks. So I was lucky and found some good snacks to eat. So let's see, we've got some Play-Doh. You have a couple different colors of Play-Dohs because butterflies are so colorful. But right now we have purple. And then to go along with your Play-Doh, you have a whole bag of different goodies that you can use to make different funny bugs or butterflies or flowers or anything you want to create. There's little pipe cleaners that you can use to make wings out of, pom-poms you can use for a head or the middle of a flower. Um, some of you got some gems and some sequins that you can put in there and you can use it over and over again. So there's that for your Play-Doh. And then everybody has a little butterfly wand or a butterfly puppet. It's blank right now, which you can keep it blank, but you can also use some of the things from the craft bag that you have in here to decorate your butterfly. And I'll show you that later, some ideas. Then, um, oh, this is the other thing that goes with your Play-Doh. You can use a Play-Doh to give this poor butterfly, he's just got his body, to give him some wings and decorate it. And maybe you have other colors at home that you can add to it or use some of the embellishments that are on here to use it to make it very, very beautiful. So that goes with the Play-Doh too. Then this is a great fun game. See how we have all these different colors? We have orange, red, green, purple. Well, you have pom-poms in your bag too, and you can match your pom-poms to the butterfly. There's lots of ways you can do this game. You can um, have someone call out a color and then you find the color from the bag and make a match. Or you can close your eyes and pull one out and be surprised and find a match. Um, and you can do also, if you got the butterfly flashcards, which some of you got if you're younger, you can use that too to match and make up your own game with it. So. There's those. So those are really fun. And here's the butterfly color cards. They're flash cards and they're on cardboard. And if you were younger, like four under, I made flash cards because those of you who are older already know all of your colors. But those of you who are younger are still practicing your colors. So you can do a lot of different activities with these flash cards. You can find things that match. You can match with the butterflies that are in your kit. You can find other things that match these colors. And there are nice thick cardstock flashcards that you can keep and practice your colors with. So I have those. Then we have this, which um, you'll have to cut out. Probably a mom or dad will have to cut out. And it's an activity thing where you can do different activities and you roll it like a dice. And I will show you in a minute what it looks like when it's into a cube and you can toss it around. But it'll tell you things like wiggle like a worm or bzzz like a bee, flap your wings like a butterfly. Great activities to get your body moving. Speaking of moving, this is another thing, once you read your butterfly story, that you can kind of act out the story of a butterfly by moving your body. So that's in there. Then each of you will have a book 
depending on how old you are. This is our Butterfly Colors and Counting book. This would be another great thing to use with your flashcards or your pom-poms, but in this book, it's really cute. It's got all kinds of butterflies and colors and numbers, so you will be able to practice a lot of different skills when you read this book, and this book is yours to keep. So that's in there, or if you're a bit older, let me stretch over here. You have this book, um, which is also about butterflies, but this tells more about butterflies and what they do out in nature and how they go from a caterpillar to a butterfly. There's beautiful photographs in this book that I think you're gonna find really interesting. And it's got some really great facts as well. So that's the book that's in there if you're older. And I'll read both of these on a video a little bit later that you'll be able to watch and you can read along too. So, got some butterfly stickers because those are just super fun. And let's see, we have a butterfly net. And this butterfly, let me show you, this is mine. Vivian's. These nets can go up and down depending on how long you want to use them. You can play lots of games with these nets. You can take them out in the backyard and explore for some bugs or some butterflies and see if there's different things you can catch in them. You can use cotton balls and throw them and catch them. You could use your pom-poms and try to catch them. Super light. Just make sure it's not anything too heavy. But just be safe. You also don't hit anybody with this. So fun for inside, fun for outside. You could also blow bubbles and try and catch the bubbles with it. I love bubbles. So your butterfly net came with some butterflies like this one. Everybody got four or five butterflies that are either felt or foam and you can use these and catch them with your net too. They can just fall. You can have practice to have somebody throw them for you and then you can whoosh, try to catch it or you can hide them different places and then scoop it up and see how many you can scoop up and catch in your net and practice your colors with that as well. So that's really fun. Then let's see if there's anything before we get to our arts and crafts. Everybody has like a learning packet. In there is a list of some great butterfly books and bug books that are my favorites. These are some super books. I'll show you one that I really like right here, this birthday bugs one. It's very silly. I don't have it anymore, but it's a super silly book. Then depending on how old you are, there's all different activity sheets for you to learn, practice tracing, practice cutting. If you're older, you'll be practicing your letters. There's information on how a butterfly goes from an egg to a caterpillar, to a chrysalis, to a butterfly in there. And these papers will probably take you a while to go through. So just enjoy them. Don't be in any hurry. Um, I just saw something in here I wanted to show you too. So let me go through these here. Oh, this is a cute poem, The Butterfly Butterfly. And I'm gonna do that in my video as well. So we talked about the butterfly's life. Here's some alphabet. Everybody can practice their ABCs. This is the one I wanted to show you. This page is super fun. You can use the watercolors that I'm gonna be sending home with you um, as part of your craft materials with your paintbrush. And these are our mystery letters. We've done these before. Some of you may have done these before in class and you use your watercolor paint and you watercolor your butterflies and magically either words will appear or letters will appear once you start watercoloring over top of them. That's really fun. Then, just one or two coloring pages. This is a page that goes along with your snack where you can sort out and see what different crackers you have in, the, in your cookie bag. That is right here. I like to also guess before I start and think, hmm, I think I'm gonna have the most flowers or I'm gonna get the most bumblebees. So there's that. And, Tracing. Oh, just some all different activities, depending on how old you're. Everybody has one of these. And this is a fun thing. See how it says the caterpillar, but our caterpillar only has its head. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna use your green paint that's in here, and you're gonna use a finger that's in here, and you're gonna dip it in the green paint. Let's see if I can do it on camera for you. 
and then you're going to give one fingerprint after the caterpillar body to make his body and it's going to start out with a short caterpillar because you're just doing one fingerprint but look as you get down here what number is this six so we're going to have to do six fingerprints so you'll come down and you'll get your finger in your paint and you're going to go one two and then i'll show you what it looks like three help me count four five six so as you go along you'll probably have to get more paint on your finger because you want to have a real bright caterpillar and this paint is washable so it's no worries and then when you fill out your whole sheet, not only will you have caterpillars, but you'll also have some really fun fingerprints. If you say it's okay, you can even try a different finger, like maybe try your thumb and see what your thumb looks like. See if it's bigger or smaller than your other fingerprints, or maybe your baby pinky. I bet that one will be the smallest. So see how I'm filling that out? It's gonna be lots of fun. And since I figured a lot of you like to paint, and finger paint with the green paint that you have. I also put a plain white sheet of finger paint paper in there that you can use to finger paint and get all your wiggles out. You might wanna do that first before you do the fingerprints or afterwards, it's up to you, but I thought that would be fun to have some extra painting time. So that's most of the things that are in your activity bag. Depending on which papers you get, you may have more or a few less or something different too. So. The other thing that's kind of fun is, you know how you were getting a book that has been written by an author and published, that you're getting one of these. We're also gonna have a book that you can make of your own that you create and do the pictures and fill out the information that will help you learn more about butterflies. So that's really fun. And that's that. Okay, so there is a book that I'm going to read on a video that's The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And it's a very popular book. It's by my very, 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 very favorite author, Eric Carl. And in it, he takes us on a journey of the caterpillar and how the caterpillar is born, how he eats and eats and eats and eats and eats. That's why they call him The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And then he turns into his chrysalis and he stays in his chrysalis and at the end something very magical happens. But these cards are really cute because you can sequence with them and kind of make your own story and tell the story as it goes along. And it's also fun to, I think, kind of mix them up and then put them right in the back order. And they also have numbers down in the corner of how they go. So obviously the first one is when the, we have the little egg on the leaf. And then the last one, I'm not gonna show you, but I'll show you like a little peek is what happens after he comes out of his chrysalis. So those cards are in there for you. And I think that's ever, oh, some of you might have these really beautiful magnets and you can just use your regular Crayola markers or crayons, um, colored pencils. You don't have to use anything special and they will color right on here and you can make your own magnet and then once it's all decorated, you can put it on your refrigerator or give it to somebody special. You might be able to spread a little love by giving it to a neighbor or a friend or a grandma, um, anybody to just put a little springtime cheer in their, in their kitchen. So most of you will have those. And, oh, so we talked about the butterfly wand. Got that. Got our pom-poms. Oh, so. Here is the cube. So when you do the cube, you guys are gonna fold along on the dotted lines. And this is really fun, because you know how when you're playing a game or if you have a ball, you can kind of shake it and roll it and see where it stops? This is the same idea. And once you get this all folded along the dotted lines, you can put it together with a little glue or a little tape and you'll have your own cube that goes together like this. It makes a cube and then you can shake it and roll it and every time you roll it it might come back like this time it says Bzz, like a bee or run 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 like an ant so that's another great activity to have when you have some wiggles now let me quickly show you what is in the craft bag this is a lot of different activities that you can do you might save them all summer and do one each week. 
you can just do whatever you want. There's lots of different ways to use this material, but I just wanna quickly show you some of the ideas I had about how to use it. So there's blue paper in here, this light blue paper, and there's also circles with letters. What letter is this one here? That's a V because this is Vivian's. And so you're going to use some glue and the letters that are in here and you will put together your very own hungry caterpillar. See how it matches the one in the book over my head? And mine says Miss Kathy. So you can put your name in the right order. You have to find your letters and then glue them on in the right order. And then I gave you a caterpillar head, some caterpillar antennas, and then you can use your own marker if you want, you don't have to, and give them some feet. And then you can decorate around this if you want to, or you can just leave it plain. I put a sunshine on mine because we all need a little sunshine. So that's what that activity is for. On this piece of paper, you can do a lot of things. There are a whole bunch of stickers in your uh, bag that you can put stickers on and just create a whole little bug garden, draw some flowers, put some flower stickers on, maybe some clouds or sunshine. Just make a whole collage, do anything you want with that. Then we also have in there, you'll have some colored butterfly paper that you can cut up and glue on and you can use that on your collage paper and talked about the finger paint paper. And then here's all the great stickers down here. And I also got some really cool colored crayons. I thought these were so fun. I think everybody has three crayons that are some new colors from Crayola. And this one I liked because it was called, what one is this called? I think this is Robin's Egg Blue. Yep, Robin's Egg Blue, perfect for springtime. So got some new fun crayons in there for you. And then, um, oh, I gotta show you this. The other thing you've got in there is this page. Doo -doo -doo. You can paint on this page with your watercolors. You can use your own markers. You can use some of the stickers that are on here. You can finger paint on this. You can um, put some gems on. I've got, everybody's got some gems. You can do whatever you want to make this butterfly creative and beautiful in its own special way. So that's in there. And then the last art activity, I'll show you with my stuff over here, is really cool. You'll use your paintbrush, which you have in the bag, and where did they go? The watercolors. This package has orange and purple with your paintbrush, and you will paint on these coffee filters and get them full of color. So, just like magic, let me show you what's gonna happen. You're gonna take your colorful coffee filters, We'll have to pretend that mine are a color because I didn't get a chance to paint yet. And you can put two or three or four, however many you want in there and you color on them. And then you squish them up and then you take your little clothespin, which happens to look just like a butterfly body. And you squish your coffee filters up in there. And look at that. You have a very beautiful butterfly and imagine what that would look like once it's painted. So you've got to paint your circles, let them dry, and then moms and dads can help you get these scrunched down and put in the middle of the butterfly. And like I said, you can put, I think everybody has four coffee filters, so you can do it any way you want. Make them as fluffy as you want. And you should have a pipe cleaner that you can take around the top and twist a Rooney's. It's got a wire in it, so it just twists right around. And then you can give your butterfly its antennas. Perfect. If you want, you can also take a little marker and put two dots for eyes. Totally up to you. Um, let's see. Oh, I just wanted to show you. So you'll have some gems in your kit, all different colors, so you never know what you're gonna get. You also have some puffy stickers and you also have some fuzzy stickers. So um, along with your collage, you can take your butterfly wand and create a beautiful butterfly 
and decorate them. You don't have to, but you can. I also give everyone some shape stickers if you want to put some shape foams, whoops, some shapes on there to decorate it or little gems. You can write your name down here if you want to. The only thing I would recommend not doing with your foam is putting markers on there, unless it's a Sharpie marker, which only parents and teachers can use. The other markers will just wipe off on your fingers and they always stay yucky. So that's my idea for that. So I think that is everything that is in our kits. I hope you have tons of fun and have a great time enjoying it. I think you're going to stay busy for multiple days with your butterfly kit. And I hope soon that it warms up outside and the sun stays out. So soon in our garden, we will see some butterflies fluttering around and we'll be able to watch them and observe them because they're really special. So come back tomorrow or maybe later today. We're going to read some books. We're going to read the books where did they go? They're hidden under all our papers here. We're going to read these books. And shall I show you the other books that we have to read? The other ones I picked off my bookshelf were The Very Grouchy Ladybug. And this, of course, is probably going to be the first one. The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which looks just like those cards that you have in there. You can also, I'll give you a link. There's also a great YouTube video of the same story that Eric Carl did. So we'll have that story. This book is super cute. It's about colors and things in nature. But look, when you get to the end, each page, you add more and more colors to get a rainbow going. Isn't that cute? And like on this page, we have a grasshopper that's green. So we'll go through and see different animals in here as we explore the colors. So we're going to do that book. Then this is another super silly book. I'm going to give you a quick little peek at it. It's called Caterpillar Spring Butterfly Summer. And look at what's in it. Oh, it's got like an actual caterpillar in the book. I can't wait to share this with you. I think you're going to like it. We'll also do our butterfly finger play game and a couple songs that you can come back with. I have a butterfly that's going to help me and I have a very cute caterpillar that's going to help too. So we'll see you soon. Have fun. 